All right, let's begin. First, there is an old saying that goes, if you can learn from your mistakes, you're a smart man. If you can learn from other people's mistakes, you're a genius. And I'm going to make all of you arch users who are doing screencasting geniuses today. All right, now, you'll see here as we're looking at my uh, Get It, uh, you will see this is the old code I used to use. This code does not work anymore. And this is a mishmash or conglomeration of code that I've uh, compiled over the internet and some techniques that were even demonstrated by Linux for you and me. Good day, mate. How are you, buddy? Okay, now, when I was taking this output, these AVI files, I actually found that after Arch had updated some of uh, the FFmpeg and there were some updates to Caden Live and OpenShot, I just could not work with the video. So it took me a few days and a lot of sweat and tears and now I have some new code that is working quite well. And I'm going to put this code in the show notes. Basically, I am using FFmpeg with the F switch also AC2I plugin or plug HW1 comma O. That is the location of my USB microphone that is part of my webcam as well. Now, you may need to adjust this code to suit your needs. I'm using uh, an X11 grab with 15 frames a second on mine because I'm running a single core computer. 1360 by 768 is my resolution. I'm using a uh, lossless codec for audio. I'm using X264 with the preset ultra fast and no threads. And then I designated a location and the output is the Theora Matroska video. I have found this works really well and uh, it has helped me uh, quite a bit because now I can edit those videos. Now, how can you effectively put this to good use? Well, as many of you know, I am using Compiz as a standalone desktop. And so I can't have any icons on my desktop physically. So using Avant Window Navigator, I have created two launchers. One to start the recording, and I just right click and edit the launcher. And I have chosen an icon with this exact same line of code that you see right here. And then to stop it, I just simply made another launcher that basically has the, the stop icon here and then uh, a command to kill all FFmpeg. It just doesn't get any easier than that. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Also, catch me on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. I will keep you up to date every time I upload a new video. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know, and I'll be happy to answer your questions as best as I can. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.